Drivers in the Appleton Grand Chute area should notice some changes at busy intersections, specifically those on College Avenue. High visibility stoplight backplates are being installed along this stretch of College Avenue. And Fox 11's Chad Doran explains how the change is hoping to make travel safer. The Department of Transportation is hoping these little reflective strips will help make a dent in the number of accidents on College Avenue. Uh, there's a benefit to it. So, you know, hopefully our, our study shows whether or not we can have that impact with this device. A DOT traffic study shows 300 crashes at the intersections between Highway 41 and Perkins Street. More than 100 of the crashes happened at the intersection with West Hill Boulevard alone. And these days, there are plenty of things on the roads to distract the driver's attention, including billboards and bright LED signs, many right in line with surrounding stoplights. There's a lot more competition for attention of the driver, and our signals might be losing, losing the battle. So we're, these are just attempts at increasing the visibility. Some drivers who have seen them agree. The reflective strips make the lights stand out in the day and night. It's a positive thing to do. Yeah. It makes uh, it more safer for people. Do you think drivers need an extra reminder? Yes, they do. And uh, with being on the road as much as I am on the road, they don't stop at stop signs anywhere. But others say the borders are just confusing. You know, you would think maybe there'd be some kind of uh, training or something, or or uh, uh, somebody would give you some kind of indication of what they mean or, or what they're for. Signals with plain black backplates cost $50 each. The new ones with reflective strips are $80 each. Sherman's says 120 will be put up in the six-block stretch during the three-year traffic study. In Grand Chute, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News. And workers will finish installing these new reflective back, back plates by next week.